This is the life, isn't it? Touring the countryside on your favourite mode of transport. British racing green, high speed travel. Nah, I don't think so, really. You'd get very bored on one of them. What you really need is one of these. Not quite British racing green, but it's close enough. Certainly high speed, supreme comfort, and go a long, long way for a long, long time on a Honda VFR 750. Now the VFR 750 has been around since 1986 and in fact you could still buy a brand new one up till 1998 when they changed to the new VFR 800 model. So 12 years in production, must have been doing something right, well yeah absolutely. It's a brilliant bike, often called the best bike in the world and sometimes called the most comfortable bike in the world, it really is superbly comfortable for a long journey. Big V4 motor, lovely silky smooth power has a nice kind of whirring, whining sound as you wind it on. It's really, really very nice. Look at that for the seat. Dual seat. Jump off a sports bike, jump off an R1 or a Fireblade and get straight onto this and you feel like you're just sinking into an armchair. Really is very, very comfortable. Down at the back end, this one has the single-sided swing arm, which they changed as we moved into the 90s. Honda actually call it the Pro Arm. It's just their name for it, really, but it makes it very easy to get the back wheel off because all you need to do is unbolt the exhaust. Down here, there's a little arrangement like a ball and socket. That then moves to the side. The back wheel comes off dead simple, really very, very quick to do, nice and easy. Look at this for a dashboard here. Everything you could possibly wish for on a dashboard. A fuel gauge, I've always said every bike should have a fuel gauge. Not just a fuel gauge, but a fuel warning lamp as well. Clock up there, all the usual warning lamps, trip meter, everything you could require. This one's actually got heated grips on it here, which is superb when there's a bit of a chill in the air. Really is a fantastic touring machine. So why should you buy an old VFR 750 when there's now a new VFR 800 on the market? Well, the big reason, the main reason, is money. A 750 like this is a P-registered example showing just 12,000 miles on its clock. At a dealer, this will cost you around about £4,500. If you go for the new 800, that'll cost you over £8,000, so you can save yourself a few bob. What better reason do you need? What's the 800 got that this hasn't got? Well, a couple of main things really, obviously a few more CCs, but the 800 is fuel injected, so throttle response is a little bit better. Although I have to say on this one, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. The 800 also has Honda's CBS combined braking system, which a lot of people don't like. Don't know why they don't like it really. I think it's fear of the unknown. All it means is that when you press the front brake, it breaks the back as well. And when you press the rear brake lever, it breaks the front as well. It means the bike reacts a little bit differently to the way that we've all been brought up over the years. It doesn't dive quite as much at the back, at the front, and you can't lock the back up and skid it around. Nothing at all wrong with it. And I have to say, there's nothing at all wrong with the Nissan calipers on this. It stops and it goes perfectly well. But perhaps you think it's a bit boring. It's a bit of a plain Jane, isn't it? The VFR 750, nothing very exciting, no fancy graphics, no swoopy pointed bodywork or anything like that. All very, very functional. Well, if you do think it's a bit boring, you could turn it into a single seat sports bike by doing this. Take the seat off there like that. And you can get rid of these grab rails. You don't need them if you're on a single seat mode, but these are good grab rails. As grab rails go, these are good because so many bikes have a little grab rail on the back with a gap of about that much to get your fingers under or for your pillion to get the fingers under. And if you've got thick gloves on, you can't grab hold of them. But these lovely big chunky things, plenty to get a hold of there. But what you can do, unbolt them like I have done with this one and you can just lose them under the seat. Tuck them in under the seat, seat goes back on. There's a cowling that fits on there through these little things here. And there you go, you've got your single seat sports bike.
And the VFR 750 and, of course, the new 800 always seems to be put in the group Sports Tourer. Well, it's certainly got the ability to tour. It's got the comfort, it's got the performance, everything you need, really. But as it stands like this, it's absolutely no use because there's nowhere to put anything. There's no panniers, there's no pockets in the fairing, there's no compartments, there's absolutely nothing. So I'll go see my little friend Wayne to see if he can sort me out with some panniers and some bits and pieces for that touring holiday and you can join us later.